So my pulleys have arrived. These are uh, HTD uh, 5 pulleys. This one is a, a 28 tooth pulley, 15 millimeters wide, so it takes a 15 millimeter belt. Um, and I've had the machine down to 8 mil diameter to suit the shaft on the motors and also the shaft on the ball screws. And also I had two little grub screws put in. So this one, the 28 tooth one is going to go on here onto the motor and then over on the ball screw got a 14 um, tooth one so half the number so it's a two to one ratio um, from the motor across to the ball screw and we'll need to file down some flats on the um, on the ball screw shaft um, for the little grub screws to sit down onto. I've got two more of the 14 tooth ones that are going to sit uh, on the z-axis um, that's that's a one-to-one -one ratio and then another one that's going to go over on that end and then I've got the same arrangement down this side of the two-to-one ratio for the um, for the x-axis with these these little guys to guide the uh, guide the belt as it as it runs around. The pulley that's mounted to the big NEMA 34 motor is slightly different to the rest. It's got a a bigger opening. I think it's 12.7 millimeters, um, and then it's also got this keyway that I've had machined into the pulley, and that then sits over here. Now unfortunately it arrived air versus slightly too small. I could get it slightly over but, but not all the way on so I've had to um, just lightly sand the inside um, in order to just open it up air versus slightly. I mean we're talking like fractions of a millimetre just so that that will go over and then And then on the top of this one, um, again, there's this um, this grub screw, which then tightens down onto the keyway um, and locks it locks it all in place. So the belt will run around the big pulley, up round one of the little idlers, then round the little pulley, then all the way along to the other side, and then all the way back again round the other idler, idler, and then back onto the big pulley. So the motor's then turning both ball screws simultaneously and that should keep them in perfect time with each other. And then the belt will run around here, around this idler, around this one, all the way over to the other side, around this idler and then, and then back round again. I've ordered um, all of these, I'm going to get them fitted and then I'm going to run a piece of string all the way around to, to measure up uh, exactly how long I need the belt to be. I have got it all drawn out on the computer but I figure it's better to be uh, safe than sorry and then just measure it in reality as well.